Welcome to TechTV.com channel, your solution providers. I am Ben and in this video I will be taking you through the user interface of Adobe After Effects CC. Your interface might differ either because you are using a different version of Adobe After Effects or your workspace is different. If you are using Adobe After Effects CC and you want the same workspace, simply go to the window, workspace and use the standard. Let's start with the interface. On the left you can see the project tab. It contains all the compositions and footages on which we are going to work. Below the project tab we can see the timeline. As you can see that there is nothing on the timeline right now. This is because we haven't started to work on it yet. On the right side you can see the paragraph tab. If you are working with text or a paragraph you can use it to align the paragraph. Above it we can see the character tab. This tab is used to change the font of the text, its type, its size and various properties related to text. Along with it we can see effects and presets. This is the default effects and presets which comes with Adobe After Effects when you buy it. In these presets there are several different kinds of presets which can be used either on solids, with text or different adjustment layers. Above it we can see a preview tab. This icon here shows the RAM preview. The RAM preview is basically what have you done you can just click this button and it will show you quickly how your animation look like. It renders the preview over the RAM. Above it you can see the info tab. Info tab tells us about the color we are using and our cursor location. As you can see that I am moving the cursor and the X and the Y coordinates in the info tab are changing. Along with it is the audio tab which tells us the audio levels of our file on which we are working on. Let's go to the menu. Like all different software, file menu is the same. You can save your project, you can close or you can open any project. You can import even Photoshop files or a Premiere Pro project. And you can export your project to different other software that Adobe provide because Adobe After Effects is compatible with Premiere Pro and Adobe Flash Player. Next to file is the edit menu. In the edit menu, you can undo or you can redo your steps, you can check the history what you have done in your work and you can duplicate your layers and all that stuff. Along with it is the composition. Before telling you about the composition, you must know what composition actually is. Composition is basically our workspace. To illustrate you, I am going to create a new composition. Either you can create it by going to composition and clicking the new composition or you can simply click this icon here. It will pop up a menu which says that create a new composition. Here you can rename your composition. Let's name it new comp. Now the presets. In the presets you can see various different composition sizes which come by default with Adobe After Effects. You can choose any one you like. Let's choose this one. It says HDTV 1080 29.97. 1080 is the resolution. Basically what we call is 1080p and 29.97 is the FPS. FPS is frames per second. You can change it here. You can use any frame rate you like 24, 25, let's use 30. 30 FPS means that in one second 30 frames will pass by our screen. Above it we can see the width and the height of our composition. Adobe After Effects give us the freedom to use the composition of any resolution we like. So this by unchecking this button lock which says the aspect ratio is locked you can make a composition of any size you like but if you click it it means that the proportions of width and height are locked if you change one the other will change. So let's go to again to 1080p. Below the resolution you can see the start time code. Basically what it is that at which particular time our composition will start and which particular time our composition will end and it also determines the length of our composition. So here it is a 30 second composition. Now the background color. The ba this is the background color which our composition is going to have. So I, if you want to change it you can just click on this box and you can choose any color you want. But let's now stick to the black. We have created a composition. But as you can see still there is nothing on the timeline. That's because we haven't imported anything yet. We haven't put anything here. No layer, no solid, no text. So let's put something here and see what happens. 
so next to the composition is a layer menu in the layer go to the new and you can see that either we can use a text layer a solid camera null etc for the time being let's use a text and type anything now you see that we have a text layer saying hello next to the layer we have the effect menu in the effect menu we have various effects and presets which it will be after effects is providing we can choose either these effects or presets from here or simply go to effects and presets and if you know the name of the effect you can type it simply type let's say type text and it will give me different effects and presets related to text next to effect is animation in animation either we can browse the presets which we have already made we can add keyframes we can add expressions and so on these are the things which you are going to learn in future along with the animation we have the view window in the view window you can zoom in zoom out you can use the mouse scroll to do that you can change the resolution and you can use the various different options like show rulers it will show the rulers on your screen which will help you when you are making an animation or doing some tweaks along with the view window we have a window menu what this does is it give us the freedom to add as many tabs to our user interface as we want let's say i want to add a mask interpolation tab i click it and here i see the mask interpolation tab so if i don't want it here just simply click this cross and it will vanish with the window menu we have the help menu we can if we are stuck in something then we can always get help just click it and a help menu will pop up thank you for watching this video